I got this really neat little surge protector tower. Let's go ahead and open it up and check it out. All right, so in the box, of course, you get the surge protector itself and you get this little card here that's like a user guide that goes over all the different details and specs of the surge protector. All right, so I haven't even plugged this thing in yet, but I'm already really starting to like it. This has a lot of cool things that it does. So first of all, it is a surge protector. So it's not just a power strip, although it is a very nice power strip. It's also a surge protector to protect you from power surges or overloading this device and the reset switch is here on the bottom. So if it does trip and for some reason this stuff doesn't light up, then it probably saved you from a problem and you wanna come down here and check this reset switch down here. Now that said, this is square, right? So it's square size. You can put this against the wall. So this power cord actually will turn either direction if you wanna put it flat up against something, right? So let's say you have this on your desk and you wanna put it up against the wall, you can actually turn the power cord so that way it doesn't like bulge out from the wall. So that's pretty cool. It has a little light right here that shows you it's protecting you. It says surge protection, has a little light. But look at this, it's got three power outlets here. Three power outlets here. Three more here. And hey, look at there, three more here. 12 110 power outlets out the side. I mean, that's crazy. That is a huge amount of power outlets out of this small little tower. And then of course, you got your USB side here. This is a USB-C out. It said it's 20 watts, I believe. And then I think each one of these are 15 watts, but all of these combined together are like 22.5 or 25, something like that. So it's not like every one of these can be used at full output all at once. It's just which one you want to use, or if you use multiple, you just got to know that there is a maximum amount of wattage that these put out. And then you have power button on the top. So this is a really cool power strip surge protector that you can put on your desk and just basically have everything you need plugged in. You can plug in your phone, you can plug in your laptop, have all your devices charging, tablets, everything, have a fan plugged in. I mean, this would be really awesome at a desk. And that's basically where I plan on running this. I'm gonna have this at my desk. So all of the things that I need to plug in that require power, well, it's all right here. And it even has what I call a flat plug. So this plug comes in from the side. And if you wanna put it somewhere that doesn't have a lot of space, you push this thing into the wall and it doesn't stick out and have the cord sticking out way far. It's just flat and the cord goes down. So you don't have to have something really far off the wall to plug it in. You just have this a little amount of space that has to be off the wall to use this power strip. All right, so I've got the power strip surge protector plugged in. It's got this power button up here. So I've got this fan plugged in and the fan is actually turned on. But if you wanna turn everything off, you've got a separate power button to just turn everything plugged in off. So when you turn it on, okay, now the fan's blowing, you can probably hear it. It says surge protection. I don't know if you can see that little light right there, but it's showing that it has surge protection. And then when you flip it around to the front, you'll also see it's got this little power symbol here that shows you the power for this power unit is on. But yeah, this is a really cool power strip. I'm really digging it, really like it. It's gonna go at my desk and I think that's gonna get rid of all the power strips I have around me. Well, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Y'all take care.